here's my Chevy S10 with the little uh, 2.54 cylinder engine. Um, I'm going to be changing the oil today. I know there are a lot of videos on the internet on how to change your own oil. And this is basically just another one of those. But I'm filming this mainly to try out my new camera I got and my new tripod setup. So let's see how it goes. First we'll need to go under the vehicle and remove the oil plug. Now we're under the vehicle and there's the oil plug on this particular truck and I think on most GM vehicles it's a 15 and we got us a ice cream jug to catch the oil socket might also make it a bit easier but it's not on there too hard on this truck the oil filter you have to get to from the top but on a lot of vehicles the oil filter will be down here Okay, this is you know on there tighter than normal. Normally you can just take it out with your hand after you get it started. Okay. There goes the oil. Don't know if you can see. It's not super black, but it definitely needed to be changed. Let that drain out for a little bit. Now if you have, if your truck takes more than a, a gallon, you're going to need a bucket bigger than this gallon bucket. But this S10 only takes three and a half quarts. So we're going to go ahead and let that drain for a while and then come back. Now I'm going to remove the filter. On this truck the filter is on the side. I hope you can see it on the camera. It's right here. And sometimes you can get these off by hand but I've got a oil filter wrench. So that should make it a little bit easier. I'm going to try to get it off without getting in the way of the camera as much as possible. And on this truck, traffic number. On this truck, the oil drain plug is nowhere near the filter, so you have to put a second bucket under it to catch the oil that spills off. But I got it out without spilling very much oil. Now we simply just put the bolt back in. Tighten it up with a 15 wrench. We're down under here. So now we get the new filter here. And I like to go ahead and pre-fill it with as much oil as possible. A lot of people don't do this step, but if you put the filter in 
dry then when you go to start your car for the first three or four seconds there isn't going to be any oil going to the engine because it has to fill the filter before it will actually work its way into the engine so if you pre-fill the filter then the oil pump won't have to work as hard and some of these larger filters hold quite a bit of oil and that's about as much as I'm going to be able to fill it up because this is a the filter sits horizontal instead of up and down the up and down ones you can fill them almost completely full now I don't I tried to get the camera to where it could see it but I can't really get a good camera angle this thing's getting in the way but I'm gonna go ahead and install the new filter And I think you can see that from the camera. Hopefully. Now never use an oil filter wrench to put these things on put them on way too tight and never be able to get them off. You're always supposed to hand tighten these things. I'm using a rag because I got oil all over it and my hands are slipping. But it's good and hand tight now. I like these new purolators are red. It kind of looks cool I think. Now that we've got the filter replaced, it's time to go ahead and put in the new oil. Now normally it'll say what kind of oil you're supposed to use on the oil cap, but it doesn't say on mine. It's just old and probably wore off. I'm going to go ahead and use this big funnel I got just to make it easier. I always end up spilling if I don't use a funnel. And move this back so we can see it. And this truck here takes about three and a half quarts and I'm not going to measure it out because this jug had exactly three and a half quarts in it when I started. What's good about these trucks only using three and a half quarts is if I buy these five quart containers every three oil changes I basically get a free one because of the leftovers from each time adding up. So we'll let that drain for a minute. Alright, now that we're done, we're going to just put our used oil into this container and take it over to the auto parts store to be recycled. All of the major auto parts stores will take it for free. And here's what spilled out of the oil filter when it was removed. And I'll save these containers for next time. Funnel the drain.
Leave it like that for several days until it gets empty. We'll start it up just long enough to let it cycle all the oil through the engine and then we'll check the oil. It looks like it stops right around there, which is the full mark. And I don't know if you can see it, which I don't think you can, but it does say the type of oil to use. It says 5W30. So if you can't find what type of oil your car needs, they also say on the dipstick. And also, it's always a good idea to look under the truck after you change the oil and just make sure you don't have a leak anywhere from something not getting tightened back. Well, that's my video. Thanks for watching.